Yes, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house, and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose, and this is Maverick. Come join us. So it's Jess and Jamie. I always call you Jess. Is that bad? No. no. Okay. So it's Jess and Jamie's <laughs> last night here. I'm, I'm asking her live on camera. Uh, and to celebrate, Goose has been really excited to make marshmallows, and we keep putting it off and putting it off. So we're gonna roast some marshmallows, get some chocolate, and do some s'mores. Yay. Are you already just eating the chocolate plain? <laughs> You're silly. Stand up. Don't you want to warm up? But check out these little no. retractable. Show them how it works, mom. I got, they're, they're getting, they're getting a little, a little limp. <laughs> anyway, so these things are just retractable things. They have all the cool camping toys. We got to get the little pot, the pot, pie, iron. pie irons. I always say pot irons. Got to get the pie irons and some, oh no, I'm going to lose those. I'm going to lose those. <laughs> Can you put them on? They're not very brown though. Okay, yeah, there you go. Let's put them on the napkin. Oh, thank you. Because mine are coming off too. But the reason I busted out the camera is because this will be my. Oh! <laughs> we showed her the food and it took it away. Uh -huh. This will be Maverick's first s'more. You want a bite? Okay, come here. Come here. But can you believe that we've been RVing for like seven months and Maverick has never had a s'more? All right. That's crazy. I know, right? That's all right. I'm okay with it. Oh, gooey marshmallow. Good? You want more? There you go. That's a little easier. Oh, she's oh. just gonna eat the marshmallow. Well, that's the easiest to eat. <laughs> How is it? More? Is it good? Oh, she likes it. I like my chocolate. Oh. <laughs> How's your plain, unwarmed up, uncooked chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a little chunky monk. What's wrong? What's wrong? Where is he? He's so upset right now. <laughs> He's, oh yeah, be jealous. Last result, or last result, last resort. So James is giving Memphis snuggles. And oh, Apollo, which you're holding, yes. And Apollo is having major jealousy problems. Say bye guys. You can run over to the other side and say goodbye to him over there. Go, 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 go. All right guys, so uh, the Snow dogs, vlogs, Jess and Jamie are leaving. They're going home tonight, and then we have at least one more night here. We might stay another night, but it is so cute. Goose got so attached to Jessica and Memphis, that puppy dog, especially Memphis. She loved all the dogs, but Memphis was like her BFF. So now she had to run across <laughs> and wave goodbye to him. Bye bye. <laughs> Shall we go play snappy dressers? Would that make you feel better since our BFS just left? Yeah. We'll see him again sometime, okay? Promise. We got, all right guys, we got this thing like a fire changer color. Oh, look at that. All right guys, I painted my first shell and I am going to be leaving it. And it is to commemorate the fact that we went camping with Gone with the Snow Dogs. It's not the best thing in the world, but I don't think it's too bad for someone who can't draw. So I... She always says she can't draw, but honestly, these shells she's doing nowadays are amazing. Eh. I'm gonna have Goose put it either at the playground or the beach, and we are at Muscalonge Long? Muscalonge State Park, I believe. State Park. It's gorgeous if you ever are around this part. So, if you find the shell, let us know. Tag us. Okay, guys, before we continue the vlog and leave Muscalonge Lake State Park, Let's talk about the elephant in the room that I'm sure a lot of you already know. That beautiful drone footage that's been in these past few vlogs is hugely in part to Jessica and Jamie, and here's why. Yeah, I might have I might have just a little bit crashed the drone about four months ago when we were actually in Muscalong Lake State Park. For those of you that don't know, our videos are super delayed, especially in this season one. We're gonna try and correct that in season two. But anyways, here's the details. Uh, I crashed the drone 
the day we left Muscalon Lake State Park. So for the past three and a half months, I have been waiting and waiting for someone at that park to call me and say, hey, your drone came down from the tree, we can ship it to you. That never happened until a week ago, we got a Marco Polo from Jessica and Jamie saying, you won't believe what happened. And here's what happened. Can you guys see it shaking way up there? Let's okay, 45 get the cable over it. Oh! Oh! We did it! Yes! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Yes! We did it! Oh my gosh! We did it! If you want to see that full video, it's actually up on their channel right now. You can go check it out. I'll go ahead and link it right there in the iCard or down below. But I just want to say thank you so much to Jessica and Jamie for recovering my drone and the SD card still worked. All that beautiful drone footage is thanks to them. So thank you. On a side note, the drone is dead. I don't think it's going to work. It turns on, but like the gimbal freaks out. It's like meh, meh, meh. here, I'll show you. So I'm not sure what the calibrating is doing, but it's made the gyro freak out. I'm hoping it figures itself out. That would be phenomenal. So that's probably not going to work, but I got the SD card and I, maybe I can part out or fix the drone, but as of right now, it's dead. Anyways, back to the vlog. Just What's going on out here, guys? I'm playing with sticky ears. <laughs> what? Playing with You're playing sticky. with trash? Hey. Maverick, what is mommy doing to your poor little face? Are we gonna go to the pool? We're going to the slide! Wait, what do they have here? A slide, yeah! A little slide or a big slide? Big slide! Living in an RV, you guys, it's almost always in your mind you think of like going to the Grand Canyon or going to these historic places. And a lot of times that's what we do and that's what we try and do. But sometimes, you just wanna relax and hang out and that is what we are doing this week. We are staying at the- we are swimming. We are staying at the Fremont uh, Lake. Uh, it's a Jellystone Park, which we've actually never stayed before, but the reason we're staying at this particular Jellystone is because it is actually part of the Thousand Trails Trails Collection. So we get to stay here for free, which is perfect. Free-ish. Well, free-ish. We, it's part of our subscription. Uh, but the thing that we were really excited about when we saw here is this place not only has a pool, which Goose loves, you guys know that, but they have this giant water slide. I think it's like a 200 foot long water slide. So cool. So we are gonna all go hang out, relax. It's a beautiful 80 something degree day and play at the pool. You ready for the pool, mom? Yeah. Mommy's tired. <laughs> but Goose and Maverick are ready. It's amazing how quickly this kid has gone from a crawler to a full blown walker. Where are you going? She's just walking all over the place, even on this unlevel grass. Where are you going? Hey, what are you doing, that little chunk? You wanna go down the water slide? There it is, guys. Boom. Ready? Okay, let's go. All right, Bubba, you be good while we're at the pool. You be good, I would take you, but no puppies allowed, okay? Yeah, it's be a good boy. Day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. This is going boom, boom. One, two, three, go! If you're looking for some closer, I'll tell you everybody's standing in a line for the water slide. refusing to go down the slide. Everybody needs to convince her that she needs to go. This is like two months before. Well, Come on, Mom. <laughs> what do you think, Mav? Should she go down the slide? Yeah. Maverick just nodded yes. It's super slow, Mom. You got it. Come on. 
is enjoying the pool you guys what do you think love is that pretty cool can you come get me can you come can you walk in the water or is it too wobbly there you go there you go oh very good oh yeah okay how is it oh nice job goose nice float see if you can do it in a one foot pool you can do it in a five foot pool I don't know how Goose convinced mom to do it, but she's actually gonna go down the water slide. It's the last, she said, okay, I will make it the last thing we do. So we're all done at the pool, but Goose and mom are headed back to go down the water slide. What do you think is gonna go, Mav? You think she's gonna have fun? I think she's gonna be a little grumpy. Cause she hasn't gotten wet yet. And that uh, slide water is not warm. How you feel, Mom? It's freezing a little. A little cold? A little bit. I'm playing in the hot tub. I told you that water's a little bit colder than the other one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I'm playing in the hot tub. Alright, Mav, you ready to go get some dinner? Our adventure at the pool is over, but we're headed back to do some dinner. And then we actually have some uh, other YouTubers that we met here coming over for dinner. Or actually just kind of hang out. So I'm kind of excited about that. New Air sent us Magic Chef's Air Fryer. I am excited. I don't know exactly how it's all gonna work, but we're gonna kind of figure this out and we're gonna have some BFD, because who doesn't like BFD? Breakfast for dinner, for those of you that don't know. It's breakfast for dinner, we're gonna do that. So the reason that we chose to do BFD is because I felt like donuts, chicken strips, french fries, those were all extremely obvious things that you can cook with an air fryer, because it's a fryer. However, with the air fryer, I found I can also cook bacon. And who doesn't love extra crispy bacon? Okay, I know a lot of people don't love extra crispy bacon, <laughs> but I love extra crispy bacon because it's delicious. And that's what we're gonna do. And you can cook extra crispy uh, hash browns, which is also amazing. And I never even thought about using an air fryer to do either of those. And it'd be nice to be able to do that and walk away rather than have it in the barbecue. So you put the bacon in at 390. I set the timer for six or seven minutes and halfway through I can pull the pan out, flip the bacon, push it back in and it resumes the time. So it's nice because it pauses and then resumes <laughs> once I'm done. And this is amazing because Maverick doesn't normally like bacon but she keeps asking for more. <laughs> so. All right guys, first taste uh, of bacon. What do you think Mav? Good? No, but I'll take more. Mommy, what do you think of the bacon? First thing cooked in Mama? the air fryer? Mommy? So good. Drink, please. In a second. It's a little different tasting, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's because it's not cooked in the grease. Mama, like the grease more? drips out of it. Mm -hmm. Mama, more. Maverick approves. Mama. Goose, what do you think? More. More? You think it's good? <laughs> well, there you go. It's right there. Go ahead. You can grab a piece. More? All right, hash browns time, and I think we decided to try and retain the flavor. We're just gonna dump it in. All the bacon grease is still underneath there, so it's not actually cooking in the grease, but it's cooking over the grease. And I think it said you could put up to a five inch layer of hash browns, which sounds crazy, but awesome. We'll see how that works. Okay, it's getting a lot darker out, but I think the hash browns are almost done, so let's pull them out and see how they look. Oh, golden brown. 
Okay guys, here's one of the coolest parts. As soon as you are done cooking, and say you've cooked bacon or sausage or anything that's greasy, it's got this little eject button here, where then this comes out and it's like a strainer, and it leaves all of your grease behind where you can just either pour it into a tin can or wherever it is that you dispose of your grease. But I absolutely love how clean and easy it is to cook with this thing because normally bacon, as you know, even if you have a lid or whatever, grease is going everywhere. But not only were we able to cook the bacon and the hash browns all in the exact same dish, but we didn't get a drop of grease anywhere. So awesome. Hey, it's all right now. Listen, it's such a beautiful sound. What? Oh, did you want to vlog? You want that? <laughs> Who is that? <gasps> Who is that? Is that you? <laughs> She's a little vain. <laughs> what have you been doing, love? Playing. playing? What were you guys playing? Just on the playground. On the playground? You having fun? Oh. Awesome. Go to the bear thing. The bear thing? What's the bear thing? Oh, oh the movie thing? Anyways, I haven't officially introduced you guys, so. Uh, we were unpacking from the store, and then all of a sudden this guy comes riding up on his bike and he's like, Hey, I saw that you're that you're a YouTuber. I was like, Yeah, hey, let's go. He's like, We do travels too on YouTube. I was like, Awesome. So this is Out of the Gosh Goshen? Out of Goshen. Goshen. Yep. And we have Eric yep. and Ashley. They've been traveling full time for six months now, five months? Yeah, about five or six months. And so I've only seen a couple of their videos, but you along with me should go and check them out and see what they're all about because We've just been hanging around this campfire, talking, swapping stories. You guys know that I love hanging out with other YouTubers and just kind of picking their brains and learning yep. about what they do, what they do with travels. And they have six kids, right? Six kids. Two dogs and a cat, <laughs> all in their RV, which is <laughs> impressive. So uh, you if you guys are interested in seeing their journeys, definitely head over there. I'll link them up down below and you guys can check them out. Because we've just been hanging around the campfire, hanging out in Goose. Goose is loving it. They're over at the playground playing around, and she loves. She's always nervous at first meeting other kids, hey, but then once she gets, doing? once she gets introduced, she has a blast. So she's okay. having fun Watch hanging out hands. and playing with them. Are you, uh, you mean he can't swim? But he's in the river. So one of the cool things about this park is they have this little mo outdoor movie theater thing and they do different movies every single night. So since this is a Jellystone park, they're playing old Yogi Bear cartoons. Uh, but apparently they did last night, they did like the We Bought a Zoo and just different kind of family friendly movies, which is pretty cool. They just have that out there for everybody to go and watch every night. Unfortunately, it stays bright really late, so it's not that dark out and they're having to play it because you can't play movies at like 10 o'clock because kids are going to bed. So unfortunately, because it's so bright out, you can't really see it very well. That does it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are curious about that air fryer that we looked at earlier today, that'll be linked up down below. And another huge thank you to Jessica and Jamie from Snow Dogs Vlogs. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, I will also have that linked in the iCard. Check them out, and until next time guys, remember, stay positive, get out there, life is an adventure, so make some memories.